morning everyone. It's time for the September orchid update. Not much of an update though, but this is my entire collection. I brought it outside. Um, it's been really gross and rainy here, which is great for orchids. Uh, but I always forget to show you my Phalaenopsis. And you know what? They're the only ones that bloom for me really, so I should give them more respect. This is a giant no ID that has really, really beautiful blooms, um, and it's pretty much the only plant that has liked the uh, coconut bark media. So, thanks. Um, this is my friends that I'm trying to help bring back to life. Grew a new leaf. It's doing all right. Um, this guy over here is a really pretty phalaenopsis with uh, white flowers and a pink lip, dark, dark pink lip, purple almost. And this is a no ID uh, yellow one that I really hope blooms again for me. Um, it grew two new leaves, and look at the size of this one. This is supposed to be a miniature. Yeah, right. Home Depot and miniatures, they don't know what they're talking about. Um, remember this guy over here? I gave him some surgery a little while ago. This is my Signo cheese uh, by Mormodis. It's a Signodes Jumbo Puff. Um, he got a rotting pseudobulb, and he's doing fine. I'm really, really happy that I didn't kill this one. I mean, definitely not going to bloom for me, but that's fine. Um, my Encyclia, my only Encyclia, has a new growth right here, which is getting bigger. And looks pretty cool. Also lots of roots. Lots and lots of roots. Um, this little guy, I don't know if you remember him, he grows a really cool yellow flower that um, smells like citron. It's an oncidium. Anyway, he grew a new leaf too, which is cool. All right, let's uh, keep going down here. This is my Sherry baby. No spike, nothing. I don't know, clearly not doing something right. But um, this pseudobulb grew, so did that one. This one's pretty plump, this one's doing okay. I changed the light so you can see the difference in the color of the leaves. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not really that into Oncidiums anymore. I don't know. Maybe I'll sell it or give it away or something. I haven't decided yet. That's my giant monster Oncidium. I still haven't dealt with it, as you can see. Ugh, I don't know. I'm, like, afraid to tackle it. Because I'll have to divide it, and then I'll have to get rid of the divisions because I don't care enough about it. I don't even remember what it looks like. I mean, it's, like, just not bloomed for me. I think it's one of those boring orange brown oncidiums that everybody has that's like from Trader Joe's and meh oncidiums. I don't know. Just not super into them. What was I thinking? <sighs> okay, so my, the rest of my catacetum collection, everybody's doing fine. No one has any spikes. Um, this guy finished his blooms. I'll clip off that spike soon. Um, but yeah, you know, no one's dead. Bonus. Everyone's getting big, nice leaves. They might be starting to change color, and they might be starting with their winter rest situation, but I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. It's still kind of warm here, although it's supposed to dip a little this week, so who knows. Um, this guy, my dendrobium, I don't know if you remember, I put, you know, I put him on this uh, cedar knot, cedar knee, and he was doing so well, and then a squirrel, an effing squirrel, damn you, you little bastard, bit off my new lead. Ugh, so mad, actually, over there you can see the leaves. <sighs> Stupid squirrel. Who knew they ate orchids? Anyway, this one totally bit off my new lead, so I don't know what's gonna happen. But he really, really likes 
Hold on. Hang on a second. He really likes his new home. I mean, he's just like grown all these roots. They're all sticking. Just happy, happy as can be. So that's a good sign. We'll see what happens. Um, all right, my Catlias, I, I am just like so depressed about Catlias right now. I, I just can't get them to bloom. I have to figure out what's up with my light situation. I mean, this is just, this is just getting desperate. All right, desperate times call for desperate measures. But I will update you. So here we've got BC Hippodamia. It would be cool if you would focus. Thanks. Um, I have wanted to see what the heck this thing looks like. It has never, ever bloomed. That said, this new leaf here got my first sheath. It's a little tiny crappy sheath and nothing came out of it, but that's something, right? I never had a sheath before. Plus there's this new growth here and it just keeps sending out new growths and then nothing happens. And the weird thing is that some of them are bifoliate and then some of them are unifoliate. What is up with that? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, this one is in the horrible coconut uh, coconut shell media, so at some point I need to repot it, but for now I just don't want to touch them because they're so freaking like, uh, you, you touch them, you repot them, and then they just, they're stubborn. They, they just don't want to do anything. So this guy I had to repot because he kept falling over. Um, they're all wet, as you can see from the rain. This one's from Marble Branch Farms, and it's the SLC Circle of Life by the Muses. Um, and I put it in lava rock, and seems to be totally doing nothing. <laughs> Alright, get in there, mister. Doing nothing. Lost a leaf. Here's some sunburn. It has three new leads, and they do have sheaths. But in my experience, that doesn't mean jack for me. I still can't get them to bloom. So, yeah. Oh, there's the other. Sorry about that. There's the other uh, sheath. So, yeah. I don't know. It's a nice looking plant. I'll give it that much. So that's this guy. Here is the project plant. That I'm doing uh, with Brittany and all those people. And it's growing lots of new roots and it's also, it is in lava rock. I tested out the lava rock thing and it's pretty cool. It's been working pretty well. Um, the old leaves are a little bit shrivelly, but I guess that's just because their roots are dying. And it is a seedling. It is a little guy, but look at how pretty that color is. So beautiful. Really pretty. So, who knows. And then I've got this one. This one is just so frustrating to me, I can't even tell you. Like, if I think about this enough, I start to get misty-eyed. <sighs> so, this guy should have bloomed for me multiple times already. It's an LC Tropical Aurora Aussie Sunset by Tokyo Magic. It's supposed to just have a beautiful, beautiful flower. And every time it grows a new lead, I get a sheath and then nothing. Um, here is the new lead with a sheath and there's, I don't think there's anything inside. <sighs> also in that horrible coconut chip stuff. Then my two Neophoenicias are doing fine. This guy is growing a new little little planty. This guy's got a bunch of little little planties. Looking good. And my last dendrobium which I really love this plant and it's never bloomed for me but I'm hopeful. It's a species, Cruentum, Dendrobium Cruentum, 
and it's supposed to have really gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. Um, and it's a really cool plant. I really enjoy it. It's got this, these like black hairs on it and these black, kind of black spots, which is where the flowers are supposed to grow out of. Um, so we'll see. I'll keep you posted about that one too. All right, that's it. Not super a lot happening, but you know, trying to stay hopeful. Oh, and of course this guy. <laughs> How could we forget this guy? Nada, nothing. Uh, changed up its water so that it's getting um, only pure water, but hasn't grown, hasn't done anything. Yep, okay, I want to end on like a happy note. I don't know. Happy note. There's my cat. Hi! Alright, okay. <laughs> Have a good day.